So Monaco weekend is upon us in the Principality, round 6 of the 2021 season and everyone is gunning for the race winning this one, it's the race that everyone wants to win under the glamour, not under the lights, maybe that will happen one year but it's usual Thursday practice like it always is in Monaco and everyone getting through it fairly quickly, there was instances in, in qualifying but let's have a look at the grid. So this is the grid for the 2021 season. It's a Red Bull 1-2 who absolutely dominated the weekend. It's Sainz though ahead of Gasly. Row 2 is the two Ferraris with Leclerc ahead of Verstappen. Row 3 is a, is a former Renault lineup with Ricardo ahead of Hulkenberg. Brown gets his best start in P7 but he could have very nearly get pole with Devin Butler P8 P9 is Alexander Alban with P10 Sebastian Vettel P11 is the other alpha of Bottas Sergio Perez is 12th Lewis Hamilton had a horrendous qualifying getting caught up in traffic he is 13th with Kevin Magnussen 14th Roman Grosjean is 15th with George Russell all the way down in 16th Lucas Weber 17th Lance Stroll 18th and on the final row of the grid then is Lando Norris and Antonio Giovinazzi so this is the track then it's two miles long 19 corners fair bit of elevation change in the first sector but it is the most number of laps we, call, we, we will complete all season with 39 laps where the action is about to kick off let's go down to the grid hi guys brown here and welcome back to another part of the f1 career mode here today for part 46 can't believe we got through that many episodes we've got a good qualifying here in monaco and hopefully we can have a good race we are gonna have to go for a lunge into turn one we have great pace i could have got pole but i messed up my last lap in q3 i didn't improve and everyone else did i was fastest in pretty much every key qualifying session we're going to be doing the one stop from the softs onto the mediums and let's get into the start of this race it's lights out and away we go to pause out from Pierre gasly Carlos Sainz gets away well, Pierre Gasly is left defending, they get to two, um, Ferraris we go down the inside, we go for a giant dive into that corner, into turn one, we're now going wheel to wheel with Max Verstappen, Verstappen fends us off, we're past the Riccardo and Hulkenberg, and we're up into P5, which is good, we start at P7, so that's two positions up already, but we need to get past Max as quickly as we can, down the inside before, about into Mirabeau, and now, into the hairpin for the first time as everyone bunches up tried to go down the inside of Verstappen couldn't do that Verstappen's too clever for that everyone running through and now through Portier round when Ayrton Senna crashed out and now through the tunnel for the first time and what can we do here we're probably a bit too far back so it is pretty much a sandwich between the two Red Bulls and the two Ferraris but as we skip on to lap 3 then and the top three started to get away and I was kind of stuck here watching them get further and further away as I was just stuck behind Verstappen but I realised literally the saving grace that if you kind of went to the left coming out of the tunnel and then quickly went back over to the racing line you'll see here on the onboard it can kind of, you can kind of if you're quick enough get down the inside which we're going to try and do here on lap five and then go round the outside at to back it didn't work that time but Stappen fended us off I once I realized that I just kept trying that and here on lap six we're gonna go for it but there's nearly contact with Max Verstappen there this time he defends again and I was getting pretty desperate here we needed to get him as quickly as we possibly could here on lap eight though we've got we've done it again and this time we're fully alongside Max Verstappen and we're going to go all the way round the outside of Verstappen and we're up into P4 and now we can get chasing after two Red Bulls and Charles Leclerc in the other Ferrari on in this Monaco Grand Prix in the Principality skipping on though to lap 11 and they actually pitted here so this is Pierre Gasly coming into the pits he's going to be putting on the mediums so he'll be going to the end 
and off he goes on lap 12 now as he crosses the line one lap later though into the pits comes Max Verstappen and these are just going to come out though in loads and loads and loads of traffic because everyone kind of behind and in the midfield and especially everyone outside the top 10 started on the medium so they'll be going to the hards at some point in this race round about lap 20 so until they pit they're just going to be holding up the leaders which i kind of realize is science pits on lap 13 so does charles leclerc which i kind of realized so this whole time i was kind of staying out i'm actually in the lead of this race now with all these pitting but i knew as ricardo beats out carlos Sainz there but i knew that if i pitted i'm gonna lose so much time to these guys that are now in traffic as charles Leclerc goes wheel to wheel with, with, with lance stroll i think it is and all the way around the outside in fact it's sergio perez well wow, what a move this is all the way on to lap 18 though so science actually pitted managed to get past ricardo I think Ricardo pitted so he's now on the back of us this whole time we're still out on the soft tyres round the outside Science actually hits the wall there and has damage to his front wing so it was at this point where I kind of think right we're gonna have to pit they should have pitted round about now because I'm just in I weren't really constantly checking I was just kind of guessing so as we round the final couple of corners we're gonna come into the pits on lap 18 we're gonna make a one and only stop and we're going to go on to the mediums and just go to the end of the race. There's a bit of a glitch in the pits there with the tyres. You'd have seen there, that was a bit awkward. Um, into the pits we go, on to the set of the mediums, and this is pretty much our race now. We've just got to take these to the end. We managed to go five laps further than everyone else, but I completely mistimed it. There is everyone. It's crucial. Pit Gasly's up the road, but it's crucial. We beat out Lance Stroll here, and we haven't. And that was so agonizing. We beat out um, Max Verstappen. We tried to do what we did to Verstappen on Lance Stroll, and he just defends us. And it was really frustrating. Round the outside, he just cuts us off. We tried to do the switch back. That wouldn't work. I had to go around the swimming pool. And it was so annoying. You can see how much time we've lost. Verstappen's held us up. So we're going to go down the inside into the, the second to last corner. We're going to get past Lance Stroll. And we needed to do that. That was a whole lap. You can see the amount of time we've lost, but it doesn't matter because Pierre Gasly was getting held up and we overtook Pierre Gasly down the inside, exactly the same with Lance Stroll, but at the perfect time because as we went down the inside of Pierre Gasly, everyone else pitted. So as Pierre Gasly tries to defend us into um, turn one and re overtake us, we couldn't do it. We defended round the outside we overtook him at the best possible point we've now got away from Pierre Gasly and now on the back of Sergio Perez this is actually for third place now and just up, a, up the road is Charles Leclerc all over the back of Carlos Sainz as well we do pretty much copy and paste what we did to Lance Stroll and Max Verstappen around the outside lovely move and we're up into P3 in this race and three laps later because at this time I didn't actually realise that when um, Science tried to overtake us he actually had damage so I, I didn't realise that at the time so I thought these guys were, were just going really slow and I had some super pace and I was thinking at the time wow I'm going to have to turn up difficulty or something but um, Leclerc was just held up by Science, which really helped us out we were gaining like 2-3 seconds a lap on these the gap was 10 seconds and i was thinking we might just get them at the end it might just be like the last lap kind of lunge and it really wasn't you can see on lap 30 we're all over the back we're kind of just biding the time down the inside we go on charles leclerc there into that corner and now into the hairpin and now can we get past this is a replay can we get past carlos Sainz for a lead down the inside that's a lovely move riding on board now with Charles Leclerc there was actually contact there so we did well not to get that get the get it down the inside there on lap 30 we're going to try the trademark move down the inside of this race move side by side but we couldn't get the launch out of the Nobel chicane to get our car 
any further up the road, so we're going to have to wait an extra lap onto lap 31. And we're chasing, we're chasing, we're looking a little bit too far back. And now into the corner, down the inside we go. And we're side by side, and now we're fully alongside. And now we're going to go round the outside. There's contact over Carlos Sainz as we take the lead of the Monaco Grand Prix. This is a replay of what happened. And we're going, so this is it, we're heading towards the back. And look at the space I gave him. And he still managed to hit me. This is a, what it looked like looking backwards on Carlos Sainz. So Carlos Sainz can't really see much from this angle actually. But as we switched round, there was so much space, if not back out Sainz. You should know that. That I, I feel like I left enough space there, but let me know in the comments below what you think of that. It, was it my fault? Was it Sainz's fault? Should Sainz back out? Did I give him enough space? Let me know in the comments below. But that was pretty much this race. So we're going to round the final corner and we are going to be victorious in Monaco. Complete opposite to what happened 12 months ago when we had the gearbox failure in the Red Bull. But we're standing on the top step again, our first win since Abu Dhabi. It looks like it's time once again to hand out the silverware as these successful drivers make their way to the podium. It was a gritty performance today by Williams and they've got the race win to prove it. where the game glitched out so it said Charles de Clare beat Carlos Sainz but you can quite you quite clearly saw if you rewind it and you'll see the screenshot just a second Carlos Sainz quite clearly beat Charles de Clare and there weren't even a penalty so that was odd but Carlos Sainz still leading the championship Charles de Clare third Max Verstappen second we've got some big points so we've We've got 35 points now, and we're already uh, back ahead of George Russell. So hopefully we can just carry on now. We've got Canada next. That's my favourite track. So hopefully we can just keep winning. Hopefully that would be ideal. In the constructors, we're up into P4, just behind Alpha. Red Bull is still top. Ferrari second, and all the way down at the bottom is Haas. I haven't actually realised that they have it zero points into the paddock now and we're winning our rivalry with Nico Hulkenberg we're losing it though with George Russell we're probably going to lose that with George Russell to be honest but it's still early days with the rivalry with Hulkenberg so we'll see what we can do with that we have some serious points now 1600 points we fail the objective to get that extra 500 points bonus which is a bit of a shame um, and yeah, well, that was just an excellent race, weren't it? That was literally everything. We've got the most... We've got... We've got the best win you can possibly probably get in F1 by winning in Monaco. That is win number eight for us in our career. Like I said, the first win since Abu Dhabi. And hopefully we can keep carry on winning. I'm really looking at a win in Canada next time out. Um, at recording this video, I still need to record that episode. So a win in Canada would be lovely. But what a race! It's from P7 to the win. We actually got driver day as well, which was quite which was good. Um, but let me know your thoughts on it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in Canada. Wow. <laughs>
what a race. <laughs> Goodbye.